everyone, it's Story here, and I wanted to take some time to connect. Not only to check in with how I'm feeling, but to connect with all of you who are spending more time at home than usual due to this hunker down COVID-19 situation. I've been feeling a lot of a lot of agitation and fear, discomfort in my current situation, but also in our collective situation. With this whole self-quarantine isolation event, I have a little bit more practice than maybe many of you out there that might be watching do. Um, for the last year, I have been a full-time stay-at-home mom, and stay-at-home moms might also be familiar with this feeling of isolation, not necessarily quarantine, but it's a scary time right now, and I just wanted to take some time to connect with you, with anyone watching that may be feeling alone and scared. And I want you to know that even though I am here <laughs> virtually, I'm here for you. And if you want to connect by sending me a message or a comment or whatever, I will take the time to reply, if not immediately, when I'm able. And... <clears throat> I felt myself spiraling into some scary thought places and some less than desirable habits um, for coping. Just enough to kind of take the edge off. Um, it's just a crazy time that we're going through. And, and if anything, it's making me feel more like the path that I've been wanting to go with this self-sustainable lifestyle, this stronger connection to my food source and my income, I feel more fuel for that goal right now. I mean, I feel honestly a little bit depleted from this whole situation, but yeah. but I can tell that I'm, I've been on my right path um, trajectory. And what a weird time. Anyway, you're not alone. Even if it feels like you're, you're alone, you're not alone. Reach out to the people that you know and you love. Use your phone. Use your computer. And also take this opportunity to go inward and do some deep breathing. Check in with your body. And also, I wanted to make this video because I didn't want to continue with this coping mechanism of drinking wine and watching my favorite shows. I wanted to continue with the projects that I've started and move forward into the great unknown. Hey, happy spring. Garden story here. I want to be talking about how it's the equinox and the things that we can be doing to prepare for our gardens. And I guess in some way I will be talking about that, but also I just want to acknowledge how crazy of a time it is that we're living in right now. I just want to keep moving forward and it feels like, what does it feel like? It feels like madness right now. <laughs> and this is supposed to be a video about how to harvest rabbit compost and why you would ever want to do that. I keep rabbits for one because they're fun and they're cute and I like them. Um, I also keep them for this right here, um, which is their manure. It's called a cool manure because it won't burn your plants if you put it on directly. I don't mean to give the appearance that I'm some sort of garden expert. There is an actual thing called a master gardener and I have not taken that certification. I'm just someone who is passionate about a lot of things, gardening being one of them, and also creating being another. And I love filming and editing and documenting and bringing people along, 
sharing my journey with you. So speaking of my journey, we are moving and I, Banjo's in the garden. He's by your workbench. I'm filming. So I'm doing um, the gross work right now of, of not losing um, all of this work that I've put into my garden, being able to take some of it with me. People definitely pay like seven to $10 for a bag full of compost for their garden. Um, and this right here, rabbit turds, people, um, people pay money for. And I don't want to pay more money because I already pay money to keep my rabbits. Uh, so I am probably grossing a lot of you out right now and I'm going to bring this rabbit poop with me to our new house and I'm sure that's like pretty unthinkable for a lot of people unless you are also a garden. So right now I'm next to the rabbit hutch and we're keeping Guinevere confined right now because she has a litter of kits and we're just... We've had some undesirable outcomes, like I mentioned in my Instagram feed um, the other day. And so we're just keeping her confined with them, keeping her safe, the baby safe, and we just, that's what we're doing. You know, this would work a lot better if you had a finer mesh to, you know, chicken wire on top of this would probably even work better and, um, what would work best would be hardware cloth. Um, but the hardware cloth that I have is too fine a gauge. Yeah, so at least it's sifting out most of the hay. The wood chips, a lot of the wood chips are going through. Um, but I'm not a wood chip hater like a lot of gardeners are. I think that whole robbing the soil of nitrogen thing is largely a myth and from what I have researched um, a lot of other people who look into the situation think so too, especially if you're top dressing with wood chips, the nitrogen exchange doesn't happen in the first couple inches of soil anyway. The roots penetrate beneath the soil and so the nitrogen exchange is happening inches below. So if you're just using compost, um, I'm sorry, if you're just using wood chips as a mulch on top and you're not mixing it deeply into the soil, I don't think that that I think that's a garden myth is what I'm trying to say. So what am I going to be using with this? I'm going to be taking this to my new garden, wherever that may be, and I'll use it to top dress as a mulch. And when I water the nutrients from the rabbit fertilizer, the, the rabbit manure will drain down into the soil. So some people make compost teas. I'm just going to be using it as a, a top dressing mulch. What a crazy time. I'm even reluctant to, to say the name of the virus. We all hear way too much about it and I'm <sighs> just trying to keep on, keep on moving with life. And, you know, now more than ever, I feel like I want to continue to proceed with my, my goals that I have for this channel and for my future business that I haven't quite <laughs> talked too much about yet, but I feel even more so now than, than ever before. It's truly important to, to create self-sustaining lifestyles, you know, more closed loop, small economy, self-sufficient lifestyles. May you find the inspiration that you need to pick yourself up, do what needs to be done, take care of what you can, rest up, be well, and take some time to get out in the garden. All right, be well, thanks. That's all I'm going to say.